is Pat Bauman with Stoffers of Kissel Hill. We're getting in that time of the year where we need to assess the plants in our landscape. With the wonderful growing season we had this year, we need to check our plants out and see how they've responded to the, to the weather we've had. Take mental notes on what plants need to be touched up or taken care of for the fall and winter season. One of the things you would do with your evergreens is if you've got some abnormal growth and you want to bring it back in size, a light pruning just to bring it back in size is fine this time of the year. <clears throat> a lot of plants that we need to prune back in the fall would be our perennials, cutting them back to the ground to clean up the landscape. Other plants that have spent flowers, we need to cut those back. The spent flowers act as uh, a snow catcher or an ice catcher. And if you don't cut the seed heads back, they can collect that ice and snow and break the major structure of the plant. So deadheading is a great, great thing to do this time of year. Great myrtles and roses are, in particular, some of you should be concerned about. One of the basic things in, with pruning is this. If something blooms in the springtime, leave your hands off until after the plant is done blooming. If you prune them here in the fall, you'll have no blossoms next year. <clears throat> if something blooms in the summertime, once the plant has gone dormant, you can do that pruning and you're all set then for the next growing season. But one thing to remember, we've got these beautiful plants called knockout roses. They're extremely hardy and they need three hard killing frosts to shut them down in the fall. So wait till the plant has dropped its leaves before you do any deadheading or pruning on those. So when you're looking at cleaning up the landscape, Again, cutting back the perennials. Maybe the ornamental grasses need to be cut back because if it'll have the nice strong structure, we don't want them breaking off under snow loads. And then again, if there's any abnormal growth, do a light pruning on it just to get it back to its form so it looks very nice for the landscape. If you have any further questions on how to take care of your plants, come and see any of our sales reps here at Stoffers of Kissel Hill and we'll be glad to assist you.